attaching this cross to this base. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful gathering with faithful people of God, remembering an historic past and celebrating it, and being able to restore something of value that it reminds us of our being established and grounded in this community. And we feel called and pulled into a bright future that we might continue to establish what is good and important and valuable in the lives of people of faith, in the lives of people who are neighbors of some faith, any faith, or perhaps even no faith, but beloved by God. Good afternoon. My name is Tom Sutton, and I'm a, a member of the congregation here at Ebenezer. And on behalf of the church council, I want to kick things off by uh, welcoming all of you gathered here on this momentous occasion. I'm delighted to be here this afternoon to bring congratulations on behalf of Historic Columbia. What Ebenezer has done by reinstalling the historic form of the chapel really sets an extraordinary example for, for your peers, um, for folks in the Robert Mills Historic District who are, who are our neighbors. Um, for the church community, where often we see teardowns for construction of these kind of mega complexes or, or relocation of churches out of our city centers. Uh, what Ebenezer has done is, is really embrace uh, your past, our past, um, but also setting, again, a great example to com being committed to the revitalization of our city center. I'm also really excited to to be here today um, to offer an opportunity to expand the story of, of G.T. Berg, uh, who, who's a person that, that we share with Historic Columbia and, and Ebenezer. Um, as someone involved with the design of, of this structure, uh, as well as the working on the South Carolina State House, uh, Berg also was responsible for the design of the Woodrow Wilson family home. So having another place that allows our community to, to better understand you know, this individual, but also, and I think more importantly, the era in which all of these structures were, um, were, were built, and that is the Reconstruction era, right? That immediate post-Civil War era that is really um, misunderstood and I think misrepresented. So anytime that we can bring buildings back that, that help to tell this story in a more authentic way. I think it's something for us all to, to celebrate. I'm Glennis Pearson, Chair of the Historic Committee of the Richland County Conservation Commission. And I'm here to just uh, let all of you know how really proud we are of having been a part of, of this historic event and, re and returning these beautiful couplers back to the top of the church. Uh, we were, I was a part of the initial meeting when your committee came to make a presentation to us and the minute they showed us that photograph, we knew immediately, I think it was readily apparent that this had to happen and that it was perfectly consistent with the charge of the Richland County Conservation Commission with respect to historic preservation. So the photograph made the deal. We didn't need to have any further discussions. Once we saw how the church looked without them, we said, absolutely, they need to be returned. So today we gather to dedicate and celebrate the cupolas, established atop this old, important church building, which continues to serve the people of God in this place and all who enter its doors. <laughs> 